Welcome back to Glen Forge. We are here to do a YouTube short. Um, I have Dan Tokar with me on this one and I wanted him to answer a question on uh, why uh, the Japanese or what, what type of material, when we're, when we're putting the material forward, like the, the, the flux that we use, um, what, why, why do we do that and what is the comparison to what the Japanese did in that process? So the basic idea is, is that to get uh, steel or iron hot enough to forge well, you should protect it because particularly steel will have uh, uh, the potential to burn carbon out of it. So you put something that will melt and protect it at that temperature. That's the flux. Uh, and contrary to what a lot of people believe, borax is a modern material. Uh, it existed, sure, uh, but until the 1870s or so, it was not something that was available even in the United States. I mean, uh, welding flux in the old days was things like sand, salt, wood ashes, uh, ground up glass. Uh, all sorts of things have been used for welding flux over the years. What the Japanese used, because they, like everybody else, they're using what they have, uh, was rice straw ash. Uh, you'd burn rice straw and you'd get ash. And this was uh, something that would melt at a, a good temperature and you could use it as a, a welding flux. So out of all the things that are available to us here, uh, the uh, Basically, hardwood ash is as close as we could get to try right. and replicate it. And whether it makes much of a difference in the process or not is uh, um, not the point. It's you're trying to get as close to the original process as you can manage. And as I think we've said in the one video, um, uh, if we get to the 80% replication range, uh, that's tremendous. I mean, it's very hard to get much closer than that with what's available in America. And most people, when they make katanas, are just taking pieces of modern homogenous steel. Even if you're laminating them and making a Damascus katana, even that, in most cases, is maybe 70% of the original process. So this gets us a little closer, uh, makes it a little, it makes it a little more difficult in some ways. Uh, uh, and a little, it's just different. Some things are just different. So um, we are just paying our proper homage to the tradition of how the Japanese do it. Right on. There you go. Now you know. Thank you, Dan.